Well, now to a 10 on your side follow up. Last year, we told you about a program to help give nonviolent offenders a second chance at life. The new Priority Inmate Technician Training Program launched back in September. Tonight, the first class graduated through this initiative. And tonight on your side, Gina Revelo was there for the big moment. Gina. Yeah, the guys tell me they are so, so happy to have made it to this point. The program is a partnership between Priority Automotive, TCC, and the Norfolk Sheriff's Office. After months of work and dedication. Oh, man, the emotions are going. I'm, I might start crying tonight. I actually might cry. These inmates are trading their jumpsuits for a cap and gown. Well, my family is very excited. They will be in here tonight uh, to cheer me on. The struggle is over now. I'm, I'm here. I'm here where I'm supposed to be. Terrence Lee is one of 14 men who completed the Priority Inmate Technician Training Program. It's designed to help inmates study as auto technicians while still incarcerated. Since September, the nonviolent offenders have been attending class through TCC twice a week and working at a priority dealership three days a week with the goal of learning valuable trade skills once they're out. It helps a lot of us to get back into society, not just as free people, but as people with a purpose. Oh, this is this is special. Um, these guys work so hard to be here. They have matured and grown as technicians, as students, as people. Now that they're finished with the program, the inmates will go to work at a priority dealership, giving them workforce experience. One of the biggest hurdles we see is getting a job. If we can get them a job and be successful, we don't see them coming back. They're also getting a fresh start. Lee says he hopes that's the message others will see. If they check the felony box on the application, you know, don't just look at them as a felony. Look at them as a possible CEO or maybe the next mechanic or the next manager of your business. Everybody deserves a second chance. The inmates are within six months of release, but they'll also be given the chance to continue their studies if that's what they choose. The next group of participants will start the program at the beginning of the next semester. Gina Arevalo, 10 on your side.